You may think prairie dogs are simple creatures, but they actually have a complex language of their own. These small, burrowing rodents, often seen popping up from their holes in North American grasslands, are much more than meets the eye. Let's delve into the fascinating research conducted on these critters. Scientists have spent years studying prairie dogs, specifically their intricate communication system. Unlike many animals that use body language or simple vocalizations, prairie dogs have developed a sophisticated form of communication akin to a language. Imagine this, you're a prairie dog and you spot a potential threat. It could be a coyote, a hawk, or even a human. You need to alert your colony, but you don't just bark out a generic warning. No, you're far too advanced for that. Instead, you issue a specific call that tells your fellow prairie dogs exactly what kind of danger is approaching. These calls are so detailed that they can describe the size, shape, and speed of an oncoming predator. A hawk soaring high above will elicit a different call from a coyote sneaking through the grass, and both of these will be distinct from the call used for a human strolling by. Even more impressive, prairie dogs can modify these calls based on new information. If a coyote suddenly starts to run, the prairie dogs will adjust their call to reflect the increased threat. This level of detail is rare in the animal kingdom, and it's why researchers often refer to the prairie dog's communication system as a language. But it's not just about survival. These unique calls also play a role in social interactions within the colony. Prairie dogs use their language to strengthen bonds, resolve conflicts, and even play. So next time you see a prairie dog, remember they might be having a detailed conversation that you can't understand. These tiny rodents are a perfect reminder that there's more to the animal kingdom than meets the eye. And every creature, no matter how small, has its own unique and remarkable story to tell. Octopuses are known for their intelligence, but did you know they can use tools and solve puzzles? Indeed, these fascinating sea creatures exhibit cognitive abilities that continue to astound researchers worldwide. Let's delve into some of the studies that showcase the problem-solving abilities of octopuses. One of the most intriguing experiments involves a simple jar. Scientists placed a tasty morsel inside a screw-top jar and presented it to an octopus. The octopus, with no prior training, managed to unscrew the lid to access the food inside. This feat is a testament not only to the octopus's physical dexterity, but also to its ability to understand and solve a complex problem. But the octopus's intelligence doesn't stop at opening jars. These creatures have displayed an impressive capacity for using tools, an ability that was once thought to be exclusive to humans and a few other animals. In a remarkable display of foresight and resourcefulness, octopuses have been observed collecting discarded coconut shells, transporting them across the ocean floor, and then reassembling them into a makeshift shelter. This behavior, known as tool use, is a clear sign of higher cognitive functioning. In addition to solving puzzles and using tools, octopuses have demonstrated a remarkable capacity for learning through observation. In a series of experiments, octopuses were shown how to perform a task by watching another octopus. They were then able to replicate the behavior, showing a level of social learning that is rare in invertebrates. So what does all this tell us about the intelligence of octopuses? Well, it's clear that these creatures have a level of cognitive sophistication that rivals and in some cases exceeds that of many land animals. They can solve problems, use tools and learn from observation making them one of the most intelligent species in the ocean. It's clear that octopuses are far more intelligent than we might have thought. Their remarkable cognitive abilities serve as a reminder of the complex and diverse forms of intelligence that exist in the animal kingdom. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals, but just how fast can they really go? Now that's a question worth exploring. To put it into perspective, let's compare the cheetah's speed with that of some other creatures and even a few man-made machines. Imagine a racetrack. On one side, there's a cheetah, coiled like a spring, ready to race. On the other side, a greyhound, a racehorse and a rabbit, all known for their speed. The race begins, and before you know it, the cheetah leaves them all in the dust. The greyhound, one of the fastest dog breeds, can clock up to 45 miles per hour. The racehorse, at its peak, can reach speeds of around 55 miles per hour. The rabbit, a symbol of speed in many cultures, can only manage about 35 miles per hour. Yet none of them come close to the cheetah, 
who can reach speeds up to 70 miles per hour, but let's take it up a notch. How about we put the cheetah against a sports car? A sports car like the Ferrari 488 can go from zero to 60 in about three seconds. Impressive, right? But hold on to your hats, because a cheetah can go from zero to 60 in a mere three seconds. That's faster than you can say go. The secret to the cheetah's speed lies in its lightweight frame and long, slender body, which is built for speed. It also has large nasal passages that enable quick oxygen intake and non-retractable claws for better grip on the ground. However, this incredible speed comes with a cost. Cheetahs can only maintain their top speed for about 20 to 30 seconds before they overheat. Their bodies are so finely tuned for speed that any longer at that pace could be deadly. So if you ever find yourself in a race with a cheetah, you might want to reconsider. Not only will you be left eating dust, but you'll also be witnessing one of nature's most remarkable speed marvels. Dolphins are known for their intelligence, but did you know they have an excellent memory? That's right. These aquatic virtuosos have a knack for remembering things that would make even an elephant jealous. Delving into the ocean of knowledge, we find studies that have shown dolphins can remember things for at least 20 years. That's two decades of memories, folks. Imagine remembering what you had for breakfast 20 years ago or the color of the shirt you wore on your first day of school. It's quite a mental feat, isn't it? Scientists have carried out a variety of tests that attest to this impressive memory. In one such test, dolphins were able to recall and perform a set of tasks they learned years earlier without any prompting or retraining. This suggests that dolphins have a long-term memory that is as powerful, if not more so, than ours. But it's not just about remembering tasks or tricks. Dolphins also have a remarkable ability for social recognition. They can recognize their old friends even after being separated for many years. In one instance, a pair of dolphins who had lived together two decades ago were able to recognize each other's whistle on their reunion. This ability to recognize and remember individuals over such long periods is a testament to the social complexity of dolphins. It's a skill that's important for their survival, helping them maintain strong social bonds and navigate the intricacies of their underwater societies. Some might even say that this ability to remember is a sign of their emotional intelligence. After all, memory and emotion are deeply intertwined. By remembering their past experiences and the individuals they've interacted with, dolphins can respond appropriately to different situations and individuals. But let's not forget, this memory prowess also makes dolphins excellent problem solvers. They can learn from their past experiences and apply that knowledge to new situations. It's a skill that certainly comes in handy in the ever-changing oceanic environment. So next time you forget where you left your keys or the name of that movie you watched last week, consider this. It seems dolphins might have better memories than some humans. Bowhead whales are among the longest lived mammals on Earth, but just how old can they get? Now that's a question that stirs the curiosity of many. Fascinatingly, these majestic creatures of the deep are known to live well beyond two centuries. Yes, you heard it right, over 200 years. To put that into perspective, a bowhead whale born around the time of the American Revolution could still be swimming in our oceans today. Now, isn't that a mind-boggling thought? Not only are they the behemoths of the marine world, but bowhead whales are also among the most enduring. But how do we know how old they are? Well, the answer lies in their eyes, or rather, around their eyes. Scientists employ a method known as aspartic acid racemization. In layman's terms, it's a process that measures changes in the amino acids found in the eye lens proteins of the whale. As these creatures age, the amino acids undergo a transformation, providing a rough estimate of their age. In addition, another telling sign of a bowhead whale's age is found in their earwax. Yes, you heard it right, earwax. Just like the rings of a tree, layers of wax in a whale's ear can reveal its age. Each layer represents approximately one year, so by counting these layers, scientists can estimate a whale's age, often with surprising accuracy. But why do these whales live so long? Well, it's thought that their extreme longevity could be due to their slow metabolism and the frigid waters they inhabit, which reduces the rate of cellular damage and slows the aging process. This combination of scientific detective work and natural marvel truly underscores the wonder of the bowhead whale. 
They are not just the giants of the sea, but also the elders, with lifespans that leave us humans in their wake. So bowhead whales are not only the giants of the sea, but also the elders. They remind us of the incredible diversity and resilience of life on our planet, and the many mysteries it still holds for us to discover. Dung beetles may be small, but they are incredibly strong. Now, when we say the word strong, what pops into your mind? Elephants, perhaps, with their massive trunks, or maybe gorillas with their bulging muscles and formidable size? Well, let's take a moment to appreciate the unsung heroes of the natural world, the dung beetles. These tiny creatures, often no larger than a cherry, are capable of feats of strength that would make even the most robust bodybuilder green with envy. Dung beetles, you see, have the astonishing ability to pull over 1,000 times their body weight. To put that into perspective, it's the equivalent of a human pulling six double-decker buses filled to the brim with passengers. Quite remarkable, isn't it? And it's not just about raw power. Dung beetles demonstrate an impressive degree of precision and control in their strength. They roll their treasured dung balls in straight lines, regardless of the terrain, obstacles, or even the blistering desert heat. So, how do they achieve this Herculean feat? Well, dung beetles, like all insects, have a hard outer shell known as an exoskeleton. This exoskeleton, coupled with their specially adapted muscles, gives them the ability to handle loads that would crush other creatures of similar size. Think about this. An elephant, the largest land animal, can carry up to 900 kilograms, which is roughly its own body weight. A gorilla, one of our closest relatives, can lift up to 800 kilograms, about 10 times its body weight. And yet here we have this tiny insect that can pull a whopping 1,000 times its body weight. So the next time you see a dung beetle, don't just dismiss it as a mere bug. Remember, it's a powerhouse, a titan among insects, a real-life superhero in the world of bugs. Marvel at its strength, its tenacity, its sheer will to survive in a world that's a million times bigger than it. It's clear that size doesn't always determine strength. Fleas may be tiny, but they can jump incredibly high. Now that's a statement that might seem slightly perplexing. How can something as minuscule as a flea possess such an extraordinary ability? Well, let's delve a bit deeper. In the world of insects, fleas are the long jump champions, capable of leaping up to 200 times their own body length. That's the equivalent of an average human jumping nearly four football fields in a single bound. And if you're thinking that's due to their lightweight structure, think again. It's more to do with their uniquely designed hind legs and a specialized protein called resilin. Resilin, found in their leg joints, acts like a rubber band. When a flea prepares to jump, it contracts its muscles and stores energy in the resilin. On releasing this energy, it's like firing a catapult, sending the flea soaring through the air. Their hind legs, acting as powerful springs, contribute to this phenomenal jumping prowess. For a bit of perspective, if we compare this to other animals, it becomes even more impressive. A kangaroo, an animal renowned for its jumping ability, can leap up to nine times its body length. Even the mighty rabbit, another famous jumper, can only manage about six times its body length. So in the grand scheme of things, our tiny flea is the undisputed king of jumpers. But why do fleas need to jump so high and so far? Well, it's simple survival. This incredible ability allows them to evade predators and easily move from host to host, ensuring their survival and propagation. So the next time you see a flea, before you instinctively reach out to swat it, take a moment to appreciate the fascinating physics and biology at play that enable this tiny creature to jump so high and so far. So, if you're trying to catch a flea, good luck keeping up. Eagles are known for their incredible eyesight, but just how good is it? Let's delve into the fascinating world of these majestic birds to find out. Picture this. You're standing on a mountaintop, scanning the landscape below. You can see perhaps a couple of hundred feet clearly, maybe even a mile on a good day. Now imagine being able to see not just a mile, but two miles away, and not just see, but spot a small rabbit hopping about in the grass. That's the power of an eagle's eyesight. Eagles possess one of the most powerful visions in the animal kingdom, with some species able to see up to two miles away. This is primarily due to the high number of sensory cells in their eyes, specifically cones, which are responsible for color vision and function best in bright light. 
To give you a comparison, an eagle's vision is four to eight times stronger than that of an average human being. But it's not just about distance. Eagles also have a remarkable ability to focus on their prey. Thanks to their large pupils and a high number of nerve endings at the back of their eyes, eagles can spot a rabbit from over a mile away. This extraordinary vision helps them hunt efficiently, swooping down on their unsuspecting prey with deadly accuracy. And their eyesight is not just about sharpness. Eagles also have an incredible range of vision. Their eyes are angled 30 degrees away from the center of their face, which gives them a vast field of view of 340 degrees. That's almost a full circle. Humans, on the other hand, only have a field of view of about 180 degrees. In essence, eagles are the supreme predators of the sky. Their exceptional eyesight, a testament to their hunting prowess. Their ability to see great distances, spot tiny prey, and have a nearly panoramic view of their surroundings truly sets them apart in the animal kingdom. So if you've ever wished for eagle eyes, now you know why. Eagles are not just symbols of freedom and power, but also of extraordinary vision, a testament to the wonders of nature and evolution. Box jellyfish are known for their deadly venom, but just how deadly is it? These aquatic creatures with their ethereal beauty and translucent bodies are more than just a pretty face in the ocean's depths. They carry a venom so potent it's considered one of the most dangerous in the world. The venom of a box jellyfish is a complex cocktail of toxins that can induce a myriad of symptoms in its victims. The sting itself is intensely painful, often likened to being branded with a hot iron. The venom then goes to work rapidly, attacking the heart, nervous system, and skin cells. Victims can experience heart failure, paralysis, and in severe cases, death can occur in less than five minutes. This venom is so powerful that it can even affect the victim after the jellyfish has been removed. The tentacles, still coated in venom, can continue to sting and release toxins, leading to severe pain and potential complications. Box jellyfish aren't out to get us, though. Their venom is primarily a defense mechanism against predators. It's also used to paralyze their prey, which are typically small fish and shrimp. In fact, humans aren't part of their diet at all. Most stings occur when swimmers accidentally brush against the jellyfish. Each year, box jellyfish are responsible for more deaths than sharks. It's estimated that globally, up to 100 people die from box jellyfish stings annually. And those are just the reported cases. Many more go unreported as the victims often die before reaching the shore or a hospital. Despite these grim statistics, there's a silver lining. Scientists are working tirelessly to develop antivenoms and treatments to combat the effects of box jellyfish stings. With each passing year, we're getting closer to turning the tide against this deadly marine menace. So if you ever encounter a box jellyfish, it's best to keep your distance. Remember, they're not out to get you, but their venom is a force to be reckoned with. It's always better to admire their beauty from afar and leave the close encounters to the experts. Cuttlefish are masters of disguise, but just how good is their camouflage? Picture this, it's a typical day in the ocean and a cuttlefish is just casually going about its business. Suddenly, a predator approaches, but instead of panicking and attempting to escape, the cuttlefish does something truly extraordinary. It transforms almost instantaneously, blending seamlessly into its surroundings. The cuttlefish's secret lies in its skin. Its skin contains millions of pigment cells, each with a tiny sack of color that can be rapidly expanded or contracted. This allows the cuttlefish to change its color in the blink of an eye. But the cuttlefish does more than just change color. It can modify its skin's texture too. It can go from smooth to spiky in an instant, mimicking the texture of seaweed, coral, and even the ocean floor. But wait, there's more. Cuttlefish are not just reactive, they're proactive. They can anticipate the best camouflage pattern to use based on the environment they're heading towards. This advanced level of prediction and adaptation is astounding. It's like they're one step ahead of their surroundings at all times. And here's the kicker. Cuttlefish are colorblind. Despite this, they can still camouflage themselves perfectly in a variety of colorful environments. Scientists believe they may perceive color in a completely unique way through the polarization of light. The cuttlefish's camouflage is not just about survival, it's also a form of communication. 
Cuttlefish use color and pattern changes to send signals to other cuttlefish. This can be anything from a romantic invitation to a stern warning. The cuttlefish, therefore, is an artist, a performer, a visual poet of the sea. It paints with its body, creating a living, breathing work of art that is as beautiful as it is functional. It's a master of adaptation, a virtuoso of versatility and a champion of change. So cuttlefish are not only intriguing creatures, but also masters of disguise.